Hello, folks. Okay, so I'm not ready to let this one go yet. <laughs> oh, it's been on my mind. It's been on my mind. And it's one of those things that when you... When it's there and you've got to you've got to see it through right you got to follow through and see it through before it lets go of you and you can move on to something different picture that I was able to get off of the footage at the mud patch where I called it the Bigfoot and the old man okay I was able to get another still image off of the footage that I took there that day and I want to share this with you I'm gonna bring this up and share this with you and just talk a little bit about it I think it's almost like they're telling us a story here in these uh, with what was taking place that day and it would be it's important for me to mention too that I see that view from my back screen door 20 times a day every day in many 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 years since I've lived right here in the house and I see that view from my back screen door it's one of the first things I look at when I get up or when I wake up and if I see something out of the norm it could be a tree down in the field or a dark area along the trees that's that wasn't there yesterday or that wasn't there an hour earlier I can tell right one of these things don't belong with the other <laughs> it's it's very obvious to me so when something like this takes place and I should mention again that morning it was nine o'clock in the morning the Sun had just come up on the east please take note of this that I'm filming in the west the sun is in the other direction and that light source that's in the trees shouldn't be there it should be gray and and browns dark browns and beiges like everything else in along that tree line but yet that morning there was this bright light coming through the trees and I did share what I what I believe is a light type anomaly and to me it's almost like a portal when I got up and I seen the light I start seeing the pulsing right um, you know how you used to have those little dimmer switches on your lights that's almost what it was doing and then all of a sudden I got the flashes coming we see those fairly often here on the property and along that tree line um, and then the fire orbs all of a sudden I was seeing the fire orbs forming down there I'm standing there looking down uh, from my screen door kind of in amazement and that's when I quickly come around and grab my gear. Of course, I have to put everything on the tripod. I don't always have one ready to go. And I start zooming in. And by that time, all the light flashing and fire orbs stopped. But the light in the trees, coming through the trees, stayed. And so I thought, well, I'm just going gonna, gonna to film here because they're doing something. Right? And again, uh, if you all remember, I had mentioned that this is at the Bigfoot Mud Patch. And that's where I caught the watcher in the trees. Uh, there's been missing time back in there. Uh, let's see what else. Sammy's always spooked out of the area. My dog, Sammy. For those that are new here, I have Sammy's with me most of the time on the farm when we go on our hikes. So a lot of times he'll come with me to the mud patch, but he won't go in. And then there are times where he's went in with me and then we hear strange things and you get a strange feel and he's gone if he needs to go home or he needs to get out of there he's free to go so anyway that is where this was all taking place so uh and as i filmed there even within my little two by three inch view screen on my p900 i could see that ghost like old man's face and and do i think he's a spirit i think we're capturing a spirit in him there's other things i'm going to point out here because uh some of the subscribers some of you guys had had seen what i'm going to show you this is something new that i come on to you guys some of you seen this and weren't quite sure but now i am pretty much positive that's what 
you guys all were seeing and I'm seeing it as well. There are four things that I'm going to point out to you with a still image. So we'll get into that. It may be for you, for some of you. This may be a message for some of you as well because I see this stuff all the time. Um, I grew up, we, we, we live with this, right? This is real to us. This is day-to-day -day life, week to week, year to year. Uh, it's something we're very familiar with. Uh, the sounds and the orbs and the flashes of light coming from the trees and of course the Sasquatch coming onto our property. So it's nothing new for me, but to capture it in video, to capture this on video and, and share it with you is, I think it's something pretty amazing, right? Whatever it is, whatever the outcome, it will, it is up to all of you to determine what you're seeing what it is for you take from it what you will but I feel many times that I'm the messenger whatever they share with me I'm gonna share with you and and that's how this that's how this has been and that's how we'll continue forward so I'm gonna bring up the image up here on the screen here we go this is the new still I was able to get off of that footage and some may say this is a pareidolia effect some of it and others may say no this is we're seeing something here right and I believe we're seeing something because of the circumstances surrounding that morning okay we're gonna focus first on the Sasquatch <laughs> first on the Bigfoot he's solid right he is solid um, I'm gonna zoom in here bear with me you're gonna see already these other things so here we're gonna focus on this guy here he's there his chin uh, his cone shaped head as there's it showing us a little bit there a little bit this would be his right eye here and his left eye and we've got his nose we're only seeing, I think, one of his nostrils here. And his nose is here. And here, we almost see an upper lip, right? We almost see an upper lip. Once I bring in the diffuse glow filter, and I love that filter because it will bring all of that out and clear. We'll get rid of all those. And uh, zoom in on him a little bit. Better. And I'm going to bring in the diffuse glow filter here. Uh, I'll use this here, contrast and brightness. Um, we could bring the contrast down a bit. Maybe not that much. Um, I think we'll go right with that. And then I go right into my uh, into my the effects on this program this is a photo plus starter edition this was from years back if anybody's wondering you can see up at the top there a photo plus starter edition and they were it was free to download right so but i it's one of the original one of the original uh photo editing software and i love it i just love it i, I i've tried other programs but i'm familiar with this one once you get familiar with a, a program you kind of uh you become partial right to it so anyway I go into my effects and I hit go to render and diffuse glow so we're gonna watch how he comes out here okay and then we get rid of the blurriness look at that right that is amazing that is amazing zoom out here and now we're going to come back in and we're going to look at the old man but I want to show you this I'm going to zoom in on him and this is not it's too there's too much detail for it to be I, I don't think we should dismiss this right I don't think so so here we got um, we got an ear his right ear his left ear we got and I want to zoom in on his eye because you can see the irises right you can see them they are there 
That's why I say there's too much detail in this to just dismiss as pareidolia. It is a face. It is a face. And this is the one, this is the one I am tending, leaning towards it being a spirit. You notice these wisps. It's almost like wisps of smoke coming from him. There is one other still image that that I got of him. It looks like sun rays coming from him. But the face wasn't very clear and I, I didn't I didn't use it, right? My point being is and I think this we may be looking at a spirit because he he does look very much translucent as well, right? So we do. We have his ears, we have his irises here, you can see them. He's uh, looking down, it almost looks like, and I would say these are, and his mouth, his mouth is open. And we got cheekbones, and part of his, I, I, I don't quite understand this shape. I think it's part of his forehead. Um, and then his hair would be in here, right? But the face, the face is there, and it is coming out pretty clear and we're gonna go and bring the diffuse glow filter in here okay I'm gonna try to bring his face out some more there we go and we'll sharpen it up take away some of the blurriness now here now now we're gonna see more detail and we'll zoom in on him and here you can really see those irises right the irises of his of the eyes uh, his mouth and of course here we have his nose here and the crazy part in this still image was that his ears showed up they showed up in this one still I was able to and see we're uh, consider there are 30 frames per second so we're looking at 30 still images in one second and when you go through them uh, you can get quite a few very amazing still images, but the crazy thing is too you can get one that's so clear like this and then that you know it lasts for maybe two frames and or maybe two or three frames and on the fourth frame they're gone. They're, there's just nothing there um, So I'm not sure how how that happens uh, But it, it does and third we're gonna look right oh, You probably see the little one already but she's right there she's in between the old man and the Bigfoot and I'll bring in that we'll bring in the diffuse glow filter and so we're looking right here and sharpen that up get rid of the blurriness and uh She's right there. I'll zoom in. I think. I think there's a little one right here. Right here. Last but not least, uh, we need to look up here. Right up here. Do you see him? This was another reason why I wanted to share this last still image i'm going to share with you from that footage from the mud patch and i'll let you guys like i say take from it what you will for me it's telling a story it's telling a story one of the first things that comes through for me is that we are all together we are all created we are all a part of creation we're all here together you know just from based on what i've been able to capture and what i experience when i go out to these locations there is so much energy out there and so much vibration and and uh, of course it's different as an empath being out in that energy it's it's it can almost become overwhelming years ago if this would have and I have mentioned this to some some of my subscribers and probably in previous videos but if this would have been 10 years ago and I was to experience what I experienced like say when I go to the white birch clan there's big energy there a lot of a lot of stuff going on I uh, 10 years ago I wouldn't have been a, I wouldn't be able to handle it it would have been overwhelming and I would have just back out I back I would back out and and kind of retreat from everything that's going today 
it's almost like they're conditioning me to be able to withstand and go back in there and spend as much time as I want with them and and, and I do I'm able to do it today 10 years ago no I wouldn't have been able to trust me I wouldn't I can understand people who've not had that much experience with them experiencing them and panicking and, and getting very afraid of it and wanting to run uh, going back to the picture and we'll just take a look at that again and again um, here we got Sasquatch here and he would be looking east uh, if anybody's wondering towards the sunshine as the sun was coming up and then we got the little one here down here she I believe it's a little female that's just what I feel um, her eyes are here and her nose and then we got the old man and see with that diffuse growth filter, you could see everything here. You could see his ears. Uh, both of them are showing in this, this one still image, just capture his irises, his eyes, and his nose, and his mouth. And it is open. It's, his mouth is open here. And then see, and this is where we got these. You could see some of them here in this image. You could see these wisps of it's like almost like mist or smoke. It reminded me of smoke. And then we go up to this face here. This very large face. Um, hopefully you guys see what I see. And again, I don't I don't think we should dismiss this as just mere pareidolia. Um because, you know, I see, here's the nose. Here, too, you can see is the irises. You can see the irises. You can see them. And, you know, it to me, it looks like he's got a mustache, right? He's got a mustache. Or a beard, or a partial mustache beard in his mouth. His upper lip would be right here. Right? Oh, right? So there you go, right? There you go. And, uh, but, you know, we got a story right here. And it's it's showing us some pretty amazing things. It's too coincidental. And, again, I don't believe in coincidence. It's just, and I do capture quite a bit of this stuff around the property and near to the property. So, and I think this may be more for some of you. And it may mean nothing some of you and that's okay that's all right but again take from it what you will and um, I'll just keep sharing right I'll keep sharing what they share with me and we'll just keep going forward this is the, we'll continue on our journey <laughs> we'll continue the journey anyway I will leave it there again everybody yeah And everybody take care, and I will see you in the trees real soon. Bye for now. Hmm. Yeah, every time I look at this, it just, it just amazes. It amazes me. Um, yeah, that Sasquatch, he's pretty amazing. Just amazing.